Now we've come outside uh, where we can see the control system for the outside lighting and the pond pump, etc. You can see from this big cable down here um, that a separate circuit has been introduced into the consumer unit you saw earlier. Um, and that separate circuit feeds the outside lighting and appliances. Um, that goes into here, which is a, like a giant junction box. You'll have to trust me. Inside there are the required cables which then go up and connect to this mini consumer unit. And you can see there, again, we have the main RCD switch and the MCBs to control the pond pump and the lighting. Um, it's exactly the same principle as the consumer unit we saw inside the house, only this one is specific isolation for everything outside the house. So it's a kind of uh, um, dual protection for, for everything going on outside the house. Um, with easy access from outside. If something does go wrong out here, you don't have to go diving into the consumer unit. You can come in out here and isolate everything that you need to. So from, from the fuse box or the consumer unit, the power goes from here to what is called a double pole switch, which is indoors, so that we can control everything outside from indoors, knowing that this is um, a second safety barrier here. We have a third safety barrier indoors to protect everything outside. So we're going to go inside and have a look and talk about how the double pole switch works um, indoors. Okay, so we've uh, we've just come indoors from, from the, the garage where you saw the consumer unit which controls everything outside, sockets, lights, pond pump, etc. Um, from there, from that consumer unit, the power goes directly to some sockets which you'll see outside in a moment but it also comes in here um, to a double pole switch which controls the lights and the pond pump outside again which we'll see in a moment Ned, what, what, what is meant by a double pole switch? What's a Basically what a double pole switch means is it, where your live and neutral come in and then go out again when you turn the switch off it isolates both of those cables. Oh right, because normally you just isolate the lives, don't you? Yeah, but in an ordinary light switch, which is a single pole, yeah. it just turns off the live. Okay. But this one turns off both and it makes sure that the whole circuit is disconnected okay. when you're working on and it. And that's required for any outside? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's fine. And, and below the double pole switch we have here um, some dimmer switches which operate the lights outside again which you'll see in a moment um, and how, how do they work Ned? How do, how do lights Basically it just introduces more resistance into the circuit yeah. so that it has to work harder and the harder it works the dimmer the light basically oh, right, so I basically see. by turning that yeah. you either increase or decrease the resistance and the light goes brighter or dimmer. Oh I see so it just stops the, the current getting to the Pretty much to so. the bulb. Yeah. Oh, oh gotcha that's okay that's great so we'll go out and have a look and see what they control and um, and uh, talk about the, the, the final phase of the operation in a moment. Okay so we're, we're now outside as you can see um, and on the wall we have uh, an external double socket okay now these external double sockets differ from internal double sockets in so much as they're obviously protected um, by this casing are they fused the same way Ned are they are they on the same it's circuit? the same if it's a ring circuit then it'll be a 32 amp fuse if it's right. a radio it could be a 16 amp or a 20 amp fuse, right okay that's fine yeah. yeah okay so um, you can see at the bottom um, if you have an appliance plugged into the socket, you can see that the cable for the appliance will simply go into the slot. That can be closed, it's completely waterproof um, and will keep you safe. So for external sockets you need something that looks like this that is covered, uh, waterproof um, and obviously safe. <laughs> 